Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 1254 that says number of closed islands. So guys this question is uh, somewhat similar to the question number of islands. So if you have uh, some understanding of this question then I uh, insist you to solve this question by yourself uh, and if you face any difficulty then yeah watch this video. This video will clear all your doubts and will give you a pathway of to solve this type of questions. So now let's begin with the question understanding. So here you are given a 2D integer array and uh, that is uh, consists of only zeros and ones. So here zero means length and one means water. And you need to return number of closed island. So uh, what is a uh, closed island? So island uh, that is a group of zeros that is closed by water in all direction that is left, top, right and down. And so water means ones. So a group of zeros that is surrounded by a uh, ones. So that is known as closed island and you need to return number of such closed island okay we will see in this uh, figure for better understanding so guys here as you can see this one uh, are all what this one are nothing but they are this is water everything here is water okay all ones means water and zeros mean land so this this all is water so guys this portion okay this portion this of zero this complete thing is what is just an island okay this is nothing but an island so let me mark it this all thing this is nothing but island okay because it is surrounded by water that is uh, one now another thing this is also island this is also surrounded by water on all the sides so this is island see you can't consider this this is not an island this is also not an island an island has to be surrounded on four sides it is top left bottom and right on four direction by a water here this is this is nothing there is nothing so this cannot be counted as an island okay this is also not an island got it clear till here so any zeros or land you can say at boundary that is not an island got it this is this is not considered to be an island okay clear so that's why we written two as our answer one is this island and another is this one okay now if you look at this example here you can see only this middle one is connect is surrounded by ones that is water on four detection so this is the only island present now guys if you look at this third example see here these zeros this complete set of zeros this uh, means between this this all thing this all thing is nothing but an island because they are surrounded by water and here this thing this is also surrounded by water on four directions so this thing is also an island so this is one island and this between spaces is also island so there are two islands here okay so guys till now i hope that you got uh, some understanding of what this question is trying to tell the question is trying to tell simple things that you need to find a group of zeros and that group of zeros has to be connected by ones if it is not connected it's surrounded by ones and if this uh, condition is satisfied then simply increment the count of number of closed island okay uh, so uh, at the end we need we get the count of number of closed islands in the given grid so yeah guys if I take uh, one more example and discuss this so guys this is the given grid okay assume that this is the grid and uh, I ask you how many different how many count of islands close islands see close island present here how many close islands present here okay so guys see this is one thing see let me use highlighter so this is one thing right this is one close island okay this is at the zero mean island and these are surrounded on top uh, right bottom left on four direction these are surrounded by uh, water so this is one close island and guys this is another close island okay see diagonally there is a land okay but that is that is not to we have to consider we have to only consider in four direction that is top uh, top left bottom and right only in four direction whether the water is present or not for a for an island to be considered closed one so yeah this this is one thing and this is another okay so these are the two closed island present in the given grid this cannot be considered because here there is nothing if nothing then also cannot be considered a closed island okay so the few things has to be kept in mind is if a land on boundary uh, don't consider it 
okay so uh, in order to solve this question where we have to where you have to check that how many closed islands are possible and for that what you have to do you have to see first traverse the island right you have to do traversal then only we you can tell that yeah this is an island this is an island so for that you have to do some type of traversal right either you can do uh, bfs traversal or dfs traversal right but for uh, means this is basic thing you have to do some type of traversal okay got it so yeah uh, let's uh, process this question by you if you are doing dfs traversal so the means the logic for the bfs will also remain the same but here in this video we will be talking about dfs traversal it is easier to understand okay so what we would do in dfs traversal we will keep one uh, visited array so now guys i am talking about approach here i am starting approach part so in this dfs what we will keep one visited 2d array uh, this would be of a type boolean okay and what we will do so in from this main function we would uh, check if a, if a grid of i j equals to 0 and not visited of i j if this is the condition then we will call our dfs function okay got it so yeah for all the land that are possible and if that land is not visited then we will call for dfs function and we will do a dfs okay let me quickly show you the code and do a dry run right that will be a better understanding for you guys so guys see here i've initially created the boolean uh, vector visited initialize the answer variable then i ran a 2d for loop means for loop inside a for loop for to traverse this 2d grid see the one thing to note here is i started my for loop from i equal to 1 up till r minus 1 similarly j equal to 1 up till c minus 1 means this is less than c minus 1 so that means I discarded the boundary what I did I discarded boundary okay that means if a land is also present in the boundary then we don't care about it okay we won't start our DFS if if there is a land at a boundary we, we will never check for boundary here then if this is the case that if any inner uh, cell is a land that is grid of i j equals to 0 and it is not visited then we will st may start making DFS call now this DFS would be of a tight boolean because we have to check only one thing right if the if it is a land then if it, then is the land uh, covered by water on the four side or not that is only we have to check yes or no so yeah we took a boolean if yes then we will return one and our answer will be incremented by one right if it is closed by water and four, four side then what we will do we will simply add plus one to our answer so yeah that's why we took boolean uh, dfs call pass the grid pass the visited and ing now guys uh, let me take this So guys, uh, what our code will be do? So our code will start initially from this index 00, uh, sorry 11. So this is the first index 1 comma 1. And our uh, uh, and after starting from this, uh, we will check whether this is the land and visited or not. So this is the land and this is not visited initially. So guys, what we will do is, we would start visiting. We would start visiting. We will visit this. Okay, we have visited this. Got it? Now we would check in all the direction up, down, left, and right. In the up, this is this is what in the up direction this is nothing but a water so if the up direction if it is a water then what we are doing we are returning one so here for this up we will return one for this left we will return one for this bottom we will see uh, we will see what there is another water present so we will again uh, so this dfs call will continue see it won't end if it is a land then we are ending by and returning one but if it is a water then what we are do we will simply that means nothing written statement is there we would simply check in uh, that for four reduction so here currently we are at this water right here at this point so from this we will check in four reduction so in the up reduction it is already water so if it is already visited then also return one correct in the left it is a uh, water return one bottom return one right return one so for this land from all direction we will return one okay then so that's this uh, so here so this will return one this will also return one and this land will also return one to this node okay okay because for this everything is uh, every direction uh, this uh, has got one so yeah we will return one see at the end we are doing bitwise end that means water at up is true this is true this is true this is true and this is true in all four direction it is true then only we will return true 
if any is false then return false okay so yeah till now we have reached here that we have traversed it's in three direction up left bottom now for this now we are at right here we are at right here okay for this we will check on the up direction water so return true water return true water return true and this is its left is already visited so for this land also what we will do we will simply return one so what we have started we have started from this right this land and for this land we have written uh, one from all the direction that is true from all the direction so yeah we will return true so yeah i hope you guys understood that that we will start from one of the land we will check in for four direction if you found another land then for that land check in full direction and uh, send the answer recursively right we are recursively solving this as a for each of the land we are getting correct got till here so yeah this so yeah afterwards of this complete uh, land uh, group of island we will return one because all these are true so we will return true that means our answer will get incremented by one got this so if you want to do a dry run for this see afterwards let's say if you if you encounter this zero now for this zero what what is our condition so for this zero uh, we will check for uh, we will check for up we will return what we will return one check for left we will return one for bottom so now but bottom there is also one land so for we will start making a dfs call for this bottom right so for this bottom up is already visited left is water right is water sorry the bottom is water now right case this right side of thing so this right side of thing is what there is nothing so if you uh, if you have nothing on the right side then that means you have encountered a boundary you have encountered a boundary uh, that is out of the bound so here on the right it is out of bound and if you encounter these so if you encounter this that means there is no water boundary correct so if you encounter out, out of a bound uh, condition that means there is no water boundary and in that case guys we would return zero because this is invalid right this is not valid so that's why we return zero if it is out of the bound that means this means that there is no water boundary and that is an invalid invalid island so yeah we return zero and at the end what we are simply doing we are simply doing a bitwise of all this up down left and right and if anywhere we we would get false that means true and true and true and false if you return false at any rate this order our answer will be false and we would return zero nothing will be added to your answer so yeah guys this is how this dfs function will work okay now talking about the time and space complexity the time complexity for this approach would be big of m into m so total number of rows into total number of columns and similarly space complexity would be m into n because we are using this visited array okay got it so, and also one other the thing the space complexity the, the this recursive stack will also add something to our space complexity plus recursive stack okay this will be also added to our, the, our space complexity so yeah guys this so this is for the time and space complexity part and yeah that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts then do let me in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you